Okay, I'm going to run through a few examples that are a little bit more complex because they, because they have a couple parts to them. So just like when you're doing algebra, you're going to work from the inside out. You're going to perform this part in the parentheses first before you do this part out here. But let me just tell you what this says. This says, what is the cosine? of the arc whose sine is one half. That's what that says. This part in here is the inverse sine, so it says there's an arc whose sine is one half. And then this says what is the cosine of that arc. Um, and you probably already know what this is before we even do it. You're going to need your circle out. So let's just do the inside part first. So where is the sine one half? We could also write it like this. Okay, so the sine is one half at pi over six. So now the problem becomes what's the cosine of pi over six? And you know that is square root of three over two. Give an example. a new example. Cosine of arc tangent zero. Work inside first. This says where or what arc has a tangent of zero. Well, the tangent is zero at zero. So that part zero. And now we want to take the cosine of zero. And the cosine of zero is one. Let's do another example. An example. Arc. Oops. Arc cosecant of the cosine of pi. Work inside first. So the cosine of pi from your circle is negative one. So then this is arc cosecant of negative 1, and then I can change that part into inverse or arc sine of 1 over negative 1, and of course 1 over negative 1 is negative 1, so I have arc sine of negative 1, and where is the sine negative 1? At negative pi over 2, not pi over 2. You have to use restricted domains. Alright, and one more example. These actually aren't so bad. This is the cosine of the arc sine of 3 over 5. Alright, 3 over 5 is not on your unit circle. This says <coughs> this says there is some arc whose sine is 3 over 5. So in other words, we know the sine is 3 over 5. Oops, the sine of some arc is 3 over 5. Find the cosine. That's what this says. So you're going to use the Pythagorean identity. 3 over 5 squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Um, actually, let's change this problem up a little bit and put a negative in here to illustrate something. There we go. Okay. Now we'll go back to this color. So this becomes 9 over 25 plus cosine squared 25 over 25. Moving through that kind of quickly. Moving up here, because we've already done this before. Cosine squared is going to be 16 over 25. We're going to square root it. So you get the cosine is plus or minus 4 over 5. Okay, now what do we do? Alright, so here's your circle. And it said that the sine is negative 3 fifths. 
So the sine is negative 3 fifths down here in quadrant 4. So we know that this arc is in quadrant 4. Therefore, we know the cosine has got to be positive. Because cosines are positive. So therefore, therefore, the cosine is 4 over 5. So if you were to answer this whole question, the answer to this would be positive 4 fifths. do an equation now. Okay. So this says solve. This is the solve. And again, we want to use some exact values. So now we've got 4 times the cosine of 3x equals 2 times the square root of 3. First thing we want to do is divide by 4. By the way, we're only going to do a couple of these little equations, and then we'll save equations for Chapter 5. But it's of value to do a few of them now when you're learning inverses. So this becomes the cosine of 3 times x. And of course, this reduces. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 4 twice. So this is the square root of 3 over 2. Now I'm going to turn it into an inverse equation. This can be rewritten as the inverse cosine of square root of 3 over 2 equals 3x. And this says where is the cosine of square root of 3 over 2? And from your circle, you will find that that's pi over 6. So let's move up here. So pi over 6 is equal to 3x. Solving for x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So when you think of that as a 3 over 1, you know how to divide fractions. So pi over 6 divided by 3 over 1 becomes pi over 18. So x is pi over 18. And that's the end of this lesson.